Former CIA analyst of U.S. suspects Washington knew about Russia terror attack. We still don't know how many shooters there were. We don't know what the weapons were. We don't know what the firearms were. We don't know what the explosives were. We don't know how many were actually killed, how many wounded, but yet the U.S. State Department knows that it was not Ukraine stated former CIA and State Department analyst Larry Johnson, according to Sputnik. This indicates that the U.S. government has no grounds to declare that there is no Ukrainian connection to the terrorist attack that claimed the lives of innocent Russians in Moscow. The former analyst then highlighted another significant point, stating that the statement comes on the day that one of the CIA propaganda outlets came out and said that the Biden administration and the intelligence community were very concerned about what they call brazen, unwarranted attacks by Ukraine. Based on these premises, the former CIA and U.S. State Department analyst announced that he suspected that Washington had information regarding the attack, yet withheld this information from Moscow. Russian President Vladimir Putin expressed his gratitude to all first responders, to law enforcement, and to ordinary citizens who helped the victims of the attack. The president stressed that another effort is underway, focused on the prevention of any further attacks. In Moscow and the Moscow region, in all regions of the country, additional anti-terrorism and anti-saboteur measures have been introduced. He announced, adding, The main thing now is to prevent those who are behind this bloodbath from committing a new crime. Vowing to punish all conspirators behind Friday night's attack, Putin noted that the attackers were caught fleeing towards Ukraine, where according to preliminary data, a window to cross the border was prepared on the Ukrainian side. All perpetrators, organizers and masterminders behind this crime will get just and inevitable punishment, whoever they are, whoever guides them. I repeat, we will identify and punish everyone who stands behind the terrorists who prepared this atrocity, this attack on Russia, on our people, the president stated. Texas Republican politicians have long used state law enforcement to act tough on immigration. But developments over the past few days seem to show how their latest maneuvering is inviting chaos raising fundamental constitutional questions, outraging local officials, and worsening international relations A recall, Texas has ramped up efforts to fortify the border in recent weeks. On last Friday, they erected a second fence on the border with Ciudad Juarez and deployed a group of riot police to stop migrants. The migrants made their way across concertina wire into an opening in the border wall, where they were momentarily forcibly held back by a small group of National Guardsmen. After rushing past the Guardsmen, migrants made their way to the next border barrier and turned themselves into Border Patrol. The Texas National Guard is under control of the state government which is currently locked in legal battles with the Biden administration seeking to expand local control of immigration enforcement, though federal officials are mandated to apprehend and process anyone crossing the border without prior authorization, Texas officials, including the National Guard, are seeking to forcibly prevent foreign nationals from crossing the border wall and other obstacles, including concertina wire laid out by the state. Oh.